Hello everybody and welcome back to another train mechanic simulator video. Now I know this is not the normal time a train mechanic simulator goes out, but yeah, I, this, this is the only thing I can upload right now. Welker Farms yesterday took a very long time and if I didn't upload this, there would be nothing going out to you guys, so... So I'm glad you like this, because it's good. It's quick and easy for me. And also, um, those of you with a keen eye will have noticed I'm using Bandicam for this now. Um, for some reason, um, my normal screen recording software that I use for Farming Simulator and Train Sim World just has a very hard time running on starting up. Like, I press my record key and it just it doesn't want to work. So we're using Bandicam, which um, seems to work. Um, you just got to mind the watermark. Um, which isn't really that big of a deal, I don't think. So, yeah, and it'll cut off cut off after 10 minutes anyway, and these videos are usually only 20 minutes long. So, yeah, that's why I thought it would be a good idea. Anyway, we're, I think we're, we're going to go and do some, some of these jobs now. We noted a problem with uh, one of the trains. Um, so, we, so, a mystery job. Uh, this one is a problem with the cooling system, which we haven't done yet. I don't think we've touched the cooling system. And a train we got to go rescue... I think we'll do the mystery job first, then the cooling, then the rescue. That seems just like the the, the, the quickest way to do it. Uh, the, those panographs do look kind of bad. Yeah, panographs. Okay, so some panographs work. That is easy. We've done panographs before. Panographs are easy. Um, so yeah, we can just go ahead and head over there, and or up there, and yank some of those panographs off. And, just work and also, why do we have oil at an electric um, train depot? Maybe it's like lubrication oil, and not the oil I'm thinking of. All right, go and hop on over here. Ooh, we've got problems with the front and rear pantographs. So, okay, tube. The tube looks bad. So we got to remove the slider before we can move anything else. The so slider. Tube one. Tube five. Or move tube five. We got to remove tube four. Yep. How did I know? I don't know. Tube five. Uh, looks like we only got to remove, um, tube three. And then tube two to remove, to, to remove the spring. And then I think this entire, um, frame is bad as well. Did I get it right? Yep, five spring. Oh, and not found. Uh, front panograph. Okay, there's one thing wrong in the rear panograph. And there's one extra thing in the front panograph, but I don't see it. I took all the parts out. Is this the front? Or this is the front? There's a lot more th wrong things over here, though. Yeah, the whole slider and, th and stuff is, is, is wrong over here. Okay. So maybe the game just kind of got mixed up. So we, we gotta remove everything. In order to remove, I think, the, um... The pantographs, we gotta remove absolutely everything. On the pantograph. Okay. The tubes and tubes, and springs, and get the, f the entire frame. Okay, is that everything? Yeah, the slider, but that was for the rear panograph, and then the frame for the, okay. So yeah, the game did get kind of confused. It's okay, though, we all get confused. The game got confused, everybody gets confused, it's okay. So yeah, I think every everything is mechanical. As I figured out last time, everything is mechanical. Tube five, 100% chance of that. Um, 66% chance on the slider, 100% chance on the spring. It's only, um, it's only, um... Oh, no. Well, whatever. The repair failed. Um, this frame was 100%, though. So we gotta buy a new slider, it seems like. We only lost 3% on it. It was 5% um, damage, so it wasn't really that bad that we lost it. Okay. T. Go ahead and buy... Just go ahead and go buy a, a pantograph slider. Not pants. We have those, hopefully. Uh, panta. Uh, is it not? Oh, it's panto. It's not panta, it's panto. Pantograph. Pantograph slider. Yeah, account status is doing really well. Awesome. Uh, I think that's everything. I got the tubes of sliders and stuff. Only $34 for that. Basically scrap metal at that point. I, yep, that, that looks like everything. Okay, nice. Now I just gotta go replace it. Uh, can I get up one over here? 
Wait, can I not get the pantograph? Wait, what? How do I get how do I get to my pantograph? Especially I took everything off? Oh there we go. Roof. Okay, roof, roof. Roof. Oh, okay, okay. It was there for a second. Roof. Where's me roof? There's me roof. Okay. So we got the the frame. Tube three. Bring five. And the tube two. Tube one. Panograph tube four. And the panograph slider. Okay, now we can go ahead and hop, hop on over to the front. Gonna hop on over our traffic traction converter. Fire extinguishing system. Put the put the frame back. Which we didn't even have to remove in the first place. Brand new spring. Brand new tube five. Brand new tube four. Well, same tube four. Uh, same tube two. Nice and fresh and good. Tube one is also good. And the slider is also just like it was. Pretty good condition. Nice. So, there you go. That's the front and rear pantographs taken care of. I think we can... Oh, no, we already sold the, pan the slider, right? Oop. We need to do that. We already sold the slider, so we can just go ahead and finish the order. This song's pretty jamming, too. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's pretty jamming. Okay, anyway, next job. Run on over to our next job. Uh, cooling system. Except... Uh, the locomotive has a damaged water and oil cooling system. Oh, so it's an oil cooling system. So that oil over there makes sense now. Um... Find remove the defects, and also check the batteries. Okay, so we can check out the water cooling, water, the oil and water cooling systems, probably in the, um, in the engine. Oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. So, yeah, the water cool, the water and oil cooling system, bad. Can we not, can we not take, get rid of you? What do we gotta remove first? Can we not remove those? Uh, hello, I'm here to repair you. Huh? What? Hello? I'm here to fix you. Maybe test it first. Okay, it's bad. Why does this always happen? Click. Whoop. Remove. I want to remove you. Why won't it let- <laughs> I want to let me remove the water, oil, and cooling system. I guess I can do the batteries first. The batteries right here. Okay, whoa. They're flashing! Why are they flashing? Yeah, the battery over here too. It's not clear, like, we might have to remove something, but it's not clear, like, what we have to remove. Like, the fuses, the fuses that connect to those systems. Maybe we gotta unplug those. Power box. Okay, there, there are two things we haven't found yet, so I guess we'll try to find those. So, because maybe it's, like, what we have to remove. Is it inside? Could it be inside this? Like, could there be something in here? No, I don't see nothing inside here. Oh wait, those pipes! Oh, I didn't even see these. Oh, the pipes! The cooling pipes! That's what it was. Okay. Just take some... Some digging around to find the pipes to connect to the, the thing. Okay. Okay. I I'm smart. Okay, so you gotta move the pipes. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, they're, they're lighting up now. Pipe. Pipe. Big giant module. Okay. This time, it wasn't the hoses. It was the pipes. Kinda, kinda similar though. Yeah. Usually in most of my videos, something goes bad because I forget the hoses. Um, actually yeah, they are, these are electric parts. I'm pretty sure. Not hydraulics, they're electrical. Aha. No, they actually aren't. I've learned my lesson with the batteries. We're just gonna leave the batteries. <laughs> they're hydraulic. Oh, uh, yeah, they are. Okay. And everything's 100% chance. Except for the batteries. Which we will buy some new batteries. Which is, which is what you would tend to do anyway. You wouldn't just buy new batteries. <laughs> if the batteries are dead, you either recharge them or you, or you buy them. And, with, and if these batteries have a 66% chance of charging, then yeah, I'm pretty sure we just buy new batteries at that point. Goodbye, batteries. Don't need you here. Go and buy some fresh, new electric locomotive batteries pretty sure that I don't know what 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 a battery would be 
Oh no, right here. Boop, boop, there we go. Order. Yes. Account status is still good. Okay. Time to go fix up this train. And don't forget the pipes. Because then we would have oil and water and everything leaking everywhere and that wouldn't be good. Okay. Last uh, testing mode. We want installation mode. Brand new system. With brand new tubes. Brand new pipes. Smaller pipes. What is that thing called? Smaller pipe in the cooling system. <laughs> yeah, some of these pipes do have funny names. Cooling system pipe. Makes sense. But then you have the smaller pipe in the cooling system. <laughs> smaller pipe in the cooling system. There's a reference to be made. So you gotta quit out and actually go to the batteries. Yeah, you do. I'm smart. Okay, battery number one. And then from way downtown, we got battery number two. Right, oh, nope, right in, right in here. I just gotta get right there. Perfect. There we go. Boom. And that's another train. To see, another day. We did the, um, the cooling system. Well, it's not letting me select the other jobs, but we did the cooling system and the batteries. Finished the order. Not too bad. Are we supposed to do the pantographs? Uh, they didn't tell us. But sir, your pantographs look rusted. <laughs> he'll, he'll be back later for that, probably. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do the final job of this episode. I know it's not a super long tr train mechanic simulator episode, but you guys literally just had one, like, Thursday. And, um, for Train Sim World, we're starting the, um, the new, the Long Island Railroad, I'm pretty sure. So that'll be fun. Uh, I did actually record that, but I I want to I, I want to re-record it. it. It wasn't that good, which is why we're doing this. But yeah, we gotta go out in the world for. Forgot about that. Uh, so here we go. Run over here Oop. and not back in there. Run, run this way. Run really fast to the door and leave. Okay. Find the damaged locomotive in the desert. Okay. This is the pasture. The goods station, the electric engine depot, the mountain pass, South Plains. Okay, so it's probably pretty far away then. Steam engine depot all the way up here, near the oil fields. The diesel engine depot in the desert, that's the city. The port. East Pass, Mountain Pass maybe? West Desert, right here. So around square C2 to B2-ish. Okay, so just kind of go up here, northern boundary of the east. No big deal, northern boundary of the west. So if we just go up here and then take the northern boundary um, rail, we should be good. So go and put that throttle up, and yeah, we'll go ahead, and that looks good. But we're going to go ahead and go to the north electric engine. So the north exit up here. Northern boundary, yep. Good. Northern boundary of the east is auto set for us. Otherwise, we would derail out the junction, and that wouldn't be good. Yeah, northern boundary of the west right there. We gotta go that way because there's a train. Pretty sure that's something. I'm pretty sure red means we gotta go that way because there's another train that we don't want to hit. Um, east wasteland or west wasteland? Ooh, I think we'll get to it before then. And here we are. This is this is the desert. Um, there's our stop right there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the throttle down and we're gonna start braking. Pretty good. <laughs> Nice. Good stop. Um, we could just reverse, but I kind of want to explore the map a little bit more, so we'll go down here and we'll go by the steam engine depot. Come back up here by the cannon and go this way. Yeah, because I want to explore the map, 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 map a bit more. Haven't really showed you guys the map. It's pretty cool. Ooh, we got another. What's that over there? There's like a green light over there, too. We're towing our train. Can I zoom out? I don't think I can zoom out, but there you go. There's our twain. He's very happy. Okay. I'm pretty sure that glowy light is for the steam depot. I'm, I'm pretty sure we, 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 have, we, we don't have the steam depot yet. I'm not too sure if we can take him there, actually. We'll just go to the electric depot. Yeah, we're not, we're not taking elect an electric train to the steam depot. That just wouldn't make sense. I'll go this way, and then we're going to go yep, this way. Good. Everything seems set so far. Really good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Canyon. Big, tall mountains. It is a very diverse map, which I think is one of the cooler things about it. We got a desert, we got plains. Very diverse and very nice. 
We got a little village over here. I don't think we have a horn. Oh, we do have a horn. Nice. We got a bridge. Well, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know when Bandicam shut off, but it shut off. So, um, yeah. Um, this train, um, <laughs> it says I'm right here. Uh, appears the damages to the locomotive are serious. Find all the damaged components and replace them. Um, as you can see right here, we got some axle blocks, Susan's and stuff issues. But we're saving that for next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Have a great day, great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Think I'm bandy cam cutting off the video when I'm not done yet? I really should get the full version.